Hello, dear students. Today we're going to talk about writing, and the topic is a for and against essay. Today we're going to see how to write such an essay. First of all, what kind of writing is for and against essay? As you can see here, it is a formal writing to present two sides of an issue and conclude by supporting one of the sides. Always remember to brainstorm ideas about your topic before you start writing. This will help you a lot. Then keep in mind that each paragraph must have a topic sentence. The topic sentence restates the ideas that you presented in the introduction. Or the topic sentence introduces the main idea in each paragraph. It should be followed by supporting sentences that further explain the main idea of the topic. The structure is this way. You should begin with an introduction, of course. The introductory paragraph is where you state your general opinion and you tell why the topic is interesting or important. Then you have to continue with main body paragraphs. Always uh, you should start with a paragraph to present arguments and examples that are for. Then you continue with the third paragraph, but it is the second for the main body. In the third paragraph, you present arguments that are against and examples, of course. Then you continue with the last paragraph that is conclusion. This paragraph should include an opinion and a summary of arguments. So here you give your own opinion. The introductory paragraph talks generally about the topic without giving pers a personal opinion because you give the personal opinion in the conclusion. We have an example here. For example, the internet has become an important part of people's lives. It has diverse uses depending on the needs of an individual and the importance of the internet in daily life is unquestionable. This is a general opinion about the topic. Then you continue with body paragraphs. As I said, you have two body paragraphs, the one with points for and the second with points against. So a main body, uh, main body presents your justification, your points for and your points against. We have examples for uh, points for and points against. There are different arguments in support of the internet. Don't forget, this is the topic sentence that is followed by supporting sentences. Firstly, email is a fast way to contact people and keep in touch. In addition to this, the internet is a crucial tool for communication and information this is a revolution in information technology. This is the second paragraph. You have the topic sentence and you have also the su supporting sentences. With examples, now you continue with the third paragraph that is the points against. You list them here. However, there are also arguments against the internet. This is the topic sentence for this paragraph. It can be addictive and, as a result, people who spend a lot of time in front of a screen can get ill easier. Some sites are unsuitable for children and radiation released by computer screen is harmful to eyes. We have the topic sentence, then the supporting sentence, the results, examples, and so on. This is how we come to conclusion. 
in this paragraph, the writer gives his opinion on the topic. All things considered, although the internet provides useful websites, I think people need to be very careful regarding the time they spend in front of it and websites they decide to use. So this is how you conclude everything in one paragraph. Of course, you should pay attention to linking words. Uh, linking words that are used to introduce points, uh, as we have mentioned in other writing lessons, are to begin with one point of view and so on. Then to list points, firstly, secondly, first of all, to start with, to begin with. When you want to add more points, you say, in addition to this, or more, moreover, or when you want to make contrasting points, you say, however, as we had in the example, or despite, or even though. When you introduce examples, you can say, for instance, uh, like, or for example, when you conclude, as we had in our example, we said all things considered, or you can say in conclusion, or to sum up, and there are so many uh, other uh, words that you can use, of course. Here you have uh, the complete uh, essay, the internet, pros and cons, introduction, the points for, the points against, and conclusion. These are uh, the paragraphs that I read earlier. Now, I wish you good luck.